What's up, everybody? What's up, YouTube, uh, internet? I'm here for a quick review on Dunkirk, Christopher Nolan's new movie. I actually did the review just like five minutes ago, but uh, I didn't have my sound on, so I'm doing it again. Uh, so yeah, I, I basically uh, grade the movie. You guys know how I grade the movie if, you, if you've been watching me, but I'll do a quick uh, presentation, photography, sound, um, scenes. Great, 4.5 out of five, like the aerial battles. Bliss. I love the aerial shots. It was so, so, so good. Like so crisp, so so clear. And then it just kind of like you felt like you were actually seeing it from there. Like you were there, you were seeing it, and then you were you know like above them, and you were actually seeing it. Like it puts you in the action. Um, I, as well as in the other scenes as well. But the air was like primo. Yes. I don't know why I was doing twos. Yes, once. And uh, for story, I gave it four and a half stars because obviously it's, I mean, it's, it's based on a true story. It is a true story. Um, and 4.5 out of 5. I, I, lo I love the story of people coming together to save their soldiers that were just, you know, that needed help. And um, you told the stories of the heroes that were fighting it, fighting the in the war and helping in the war and what, you know, everything that they went through. And uh, for... See again, factor. I did uh, four and a half out of five again, so the movie basically gets the ninety percent, four and a half out of five stars. So I definitely uh, recommend you see it. Um, I can't really, I can't really say much else other than other than that. So I'm I'm gonna go into spoiler spoil spoilery areas. So like if you see or saw the movie and like you kind of agree or you don't agree or you, whatever you can, you can kind of comment. But uh, I mean, if, obviously for me. The guy, the guy that I like was Farrier, um, Tom Hardy, Tom Hardy's character. And uh, the one thing I didn't get was like, why didn't he parachute out of the plane? Like he had time. Like why, I mean, he looked like he was, gonna, you know, opening the canopy. He looked like he was going to jump out the uh, parachute, but then he changed his mind. And uh, you know, I did some digging. I was on Reddit, and somebody answered uh, that during World War II, during that time, it was it was really dangerous to parachute. Um, from airplanes number one you'd have to invert the plane and then like kind of fall out um i guess because there's possibility of you like you know getting caught on your plane and stuff or your parachute not uh opening up because you were too low you know your altitude had to be higher and we all already know he didn't have fuel so he was already at a, at a certain altitude um plus if he's parachuting there's possibility of just people just shooting at him and he could just get shot while he's parachuting so he's, you know so it's safer for him to just land and then, you know, his fate is sealed. But it, but still, why couldn't he turn the plane around like he did to when he destroyed a fighter uh, fighter plane for uh, for last time and then land the other way where the soldiers were so he could, you know, get ferried home? I don't know. That, that was kind of one of the, the, the sour points for me in the movie. And then the other sour point was when the Frenchman, who was disguised as an English soldier, died. By drowning and uh it kind of made me mad because he saved those guys lives twice and yeah and he got turned on and he died so i was sad about that but uh other than that man i i, I love the movie i, I love the way he used like how he did it with the memento uh different timelines different scenes and then it all all the stories converge and come together I I enjoy that aspect of it, and uh, at one point I thought for whatever reason I thought Tom Hardy was gonna uh, fly his plane into the bomber plane because he was out of fuel, and that was the only way he was gonna be able to take that down or something. Because he kept looking at the people down there uh, down in the water and like uh, you know it's like, and it, you know I thought he was that's what he was thinking in his mind for a minute. Maybe he was, and maybe that's what he was what Christopher Nolan was trying to convey. But uh, yeah, that was that was that was like one moment there, and. Uh, I mean, I, I enjoyed the movie. I hope you enjoyed the movie. If you still go to see it and uh, comment, if you have, if you want to talk, and I hope you have a good night or a day. Later.